folks. Bruce here from For Low Life again. Just wanted to go through a couple things today that I think everybody should carry with them when you're going anywhere. It doesn't have to be off-road, doesn't have to be wheeling, doesn't have to be overlanding. Just stuff to keep in your vehicle with you that is cheap and can really save you a lot of headaches. Um, first thing, everybody should have one of these and know how to use it. This is a cheap multimeter. You don't need to know how to do everything on it, but simple things like testing voltages and resistance can save you a lot of headaches and figure out what's wrong and how to get home. This one was less than 20 bucks. It's digital, it runs on a nine volt battery. Just get one and figure out how to use it. There's lots of stuff on YouTube on, on how to troubleshoot electrical. Maybe I'll do an electrical troubleshooting video later on, but get yourself one of these and just leave it in your truck. Get a cheap one. You don't need an expensive one for most stuff. Get a cheap one so that when it stops working, when it gets frozen, when it gets mud, when it gets wet, just throw it out and buy another one. Buy yourself an electrical meter. Fuses, spare fuses. Keep spare fuses that fit your vehicle. There's lots of different sizes and shapes. Grab some fuses, keep them as spares. All you need is a little container like that. Throw it in your center console. Whether you guys have ATC fuses or the square ones or the mini ATCs, all the different kinds. Keep spare fuses that fit your vehicle. Along with the fuses, relays. One or two relays are not expensive, especially if you have an electric fuel pump that runs off of a relay. Keep yourself a spare relay, keep a couple spare relays. Maybe you don't need one for your headlights, but if you've got an electric fuel pump, keep a spare fuel relay. Hose clamps, keep a couple sizes, and along with it, the screwdriver. I'm not gonna talk about basic tools here. Obviously, you're gonna need to keep some cool tools in your vehicle, but things like this can really save the day, get you home. Might not be exactly the right size, maybe you need to stick two of them together, but keep a handful of hose clamps, gonna save you some headaches. This one might seem a little crazy. Crazy glue. Uh, this is just a really, really small tube of crazy glue. I keep one that is not opened, so it's not gonna go hard. Well, it might, but it's less likely to go hard. You never know what you can fix with that. It's always good to be able to stick broken things back together. If it's something like a door handle or a mirror that's falling off and you can glue it on and get yourself home, it's gonna save you a lot of headache. Electrical tape, you'd be surprised what you can do with electrical tape. If you need to cut wires, splice wires, maybe you can't crimp it back together properly, but at least you can reconnect some wires by twisting them together temporarily until you can fix it properly. Cover it with electrical tape so you don't short out on the frame and catch fire on the way home. This is a very simple little funnel. You can get it into weird places and it screws onto the top of an oil jug or a coolant jug. It makes things a lot easier. These things I think are $2. Buy one, keep it in your truck. Tire patch kit. You got the glue, the patches, and the spikes. Even if you don't have a compressor, if you get a nail in your tire and you catch it early enough and you can pull a nail out and stick one of those plugs in, maybe you don't have full pressure, but you can stop the leak and you can get home, get it fixed properly. Zip ties. Everybody carries zip ties with them, right? Tons of things. Did you know you can make one of these out of these? Get yourself home. Blow a belt power steering, whatever, make a chain of these zip ties, cut the ends off, you'll get yourself home. Not the best, but it works better than overheating. Keep yourself a set of gloves, two reasons. If you need to get somewhere greasy and don't want to cover the inside of your vehicle with grease on the way home, you can put these on. Uh, also, if you ever come on an accident, put your protection on. Don't get yourself sick from somebody else. Two more things to go here. These I always carry in my pocket. I'm not even in a vehicle. Small LED flashlight. These things are worth their weight in gold. This one also has a magnet on the bottom that you can stick to your vehicle so you're not trying to hold a flashlight and use two hands at the same time. Definitely keep one. Always use these way more often than you think about. It takes up zero space. And the last one is a knife. If you don't carry a knife, you're gonna have hard times. This knife takes up little space. The nice thing about this one that I find is you don't have to worry about the blade being sharp. You take it out, flip it over, put it back in. And when the blade's no longer sharp, you go to Home Depot and you buy a pack of them. That's it. Keep those things in your vehicle. Your life will be a lot better because usually when you have the stuff, you don't need it. See you later.